Hey there, this is Nothing22. What we have here is a tutorial on how to manually take off and how to manually start a Boeing 747 200 or 300. All the procedures that I present to you are taken directly from the manual that came with this aircraft when I bought it, so these should be decently correct. If you have seen some of my other videos, you know, may know that this is the first time that I use my voice to narrate a video. And so I ask that you please don't leave any rude comments if you don't like my voice or something like that. Just keep it to yourself. Before we get started with this, you want to make sure that all appliances are turned off in your cockpit. So turn off the engines and the master battery switch. Okay, so first things first. The first thing you want to do is to set the parking brake if you don't already have it set. But I already have it set. So you don't, I don't have to worry about that for now. What you want to do now is to open the flight engineer's panel by pressing shift 6 and turning on the master battery switch. What you want to do now is to open the FMC and you can do that by clicking on its button which is on the which is where all the little buttons are under the auto main autopilot um, window and it's all the way to the right the second one from the right. After you have the FMC open you want to verify your flight plan by pressing the button next to the words that say FLT plan. If you if your flight plan is not correct, you can go ahead and set it up now and reopen the FMC. If it is correct, you can just scroll through it just to make sure that it really is correct. Press the up and down buttons just to make sure. You can go ahead and close the F FMC. What you want to do now is to contact the ATC controller and get IFR clearance. I'm going to skip this for now. After the ATC has given you the altitude they want you to climb to, they should have given you a departure code and a transponder code. If you have read these back correct by pressing the corresponding number, um, they would have automatically been entered into the radios. So let's check. My departure code is correct and my transponder code is correct. 5432. We can go ahead and close the radios now. What you want to do now is to enter the altitude that the ACC has given you into the um, altitude hold window, the autopilot altitude hold window. You can do that by turning the or clicking the little knob. After you've entered the correct altitude, you would want to go ahead and enter 2,000 into the vertical speed hold, 2,000 feet per minute. You now want to go ahead and open back up the FMT so we can calculate our takeoff reference speeds. After you have the FMC open, click TOF APR, the button under the main um, menu window. It says TOF APR, go ahead and click that. And it should give you another menu that says takeoff. What you want to do now is press the button right next to the thing that says calc set TOV speeds, which means calculate set takeoff speeds. So go ahead and click that. It has now calculated your takeoff reference takeoff speeds. Our main focus is the rotate speed. We want to go ahead and enter that into the autopilot speed hold window, but also adding 10 knots. Pilots do this to give them a comfort zone when they are taking off. You now want to click the little paddle for the auto throttle hold switch and turn on the flight director. You can go ahead and close the FMC. After you have the FMC closed, you want to verify that all the information you have entered into the autopilot computer is correct. Go ahead and check that the altitude you entered is correct and is the same altitude that ATC has given you. You now want to make sure that the VS you have entered is correct, which is 2,000 feet per minute. And the, um, the speed that you entered is correct. After you've made sure that everything you've entered is correct, you're now ready for pushback and the start to end in ready to start the engines, but before we do that, press B to set the altimeters. If you want to see how to manually start the engine, stay tuned. But if you want to skip forward, go ahead and pre press Control E to, man to start the engines automatically, and go ahead and skip to part two. Also, those of you who are going to skip forward, you would also need to press Shift P to start pushing back while pressing Control P, or after you press Control P. 
For those of you that are still with us, welcome. You will now learn how to manually start the engines of a 747 200 or 300. The first thing you want to do is call ATC and get taxi clearance. After the ATC has given you clearance to taxi, go ahead and start pushback. Professional pilots would start the engines while um, pushing back, but since you may not be When you are finally happy with your taxi um, final pushback position, you will now go ahead and start starting the engines.